Right. Oh, there we go. I think we're on. All right, here's one more quick video showing what's coming this spring. Here's one of the boats I don't think I really focused on much in the past. Um, this is the Traxxas M41 hull, obviously in white. Um, I purchased it just as the hull kit. And if you notice from the transom, it's missing the entire four inches of overhang. I completely cut that off on my bandsaw, built a brand new transom, perfectly fit transom, uh, reinforced from the inside. And then I got two TFL gear drive full CNC machined aluminum and fiberglass cowl outboards and this boat runs really 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 well I haven't got a good video of it running yet but I'm going to this spring as soon as it breaks um, so it's pretty pretty nice little setup it seems to be balanced pretty well um, the inside's not the prettiest but I can pull the cover off showing that the batteries need to go way 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 up in the hull I know you can't see it's probably dark but the batteries need to go way up front to offset the weight of these outboards but anyway, we've got a single servo drive uh, to, for the steering. And um, since it's kind of ugly in there, I'm going to cap that up real quick. I'm um, not, not real proud of that. That's, that was just to make sure that the boat runs right. The transom view looks pretty good. Um, nice clean exit, single drive. Um, I actually made my own custom tie bar out of carbon fiber. These are CNC machined aluminum wing plates that I designed in CAD. So these wing plates are actually one of a kind. I designed them to fit the actual... Uh, here, let's put some light on this thing. There we go. You see a sparkle in the in the clear coat. So I made the decals in CAD. I made all these in CAD. These were black fiberglass cowls. Um, they didn't have any decals at all on them. These are CNC machine motor mounts. Custom made those built just for this boat. So I built a pair of motor mounts uh, to get the motors at the right height, to have adjustability in height uh, right here for, for different heights so I can fine tune the adjustment. And they're counter rotating. So I've got these, you know, doing counter-rotating uh, motors, um, brushless. Uh, they run pretty good. The boat runs great. I just haven't had a chance to really get a video of it yet. And the coolest part is, is the bottom of the boat. If you look at any Traxxas M41, you're going to see that pod on the bottom where the cable comes out. Let me flip the boat over. I actually shaved it. Oh, whoops, hold on a minute. Mess that up. There we go. Look at that. If you can see in the video... There's no trace where the hole was. I actually completely filled in it with plastic, and then I used a Bondo uh, material, like a, um, more like a epoxy, sanded it, and then painted it. These were the water inlets at one time, but now that I put the different outboards on, they have their own built-in water inlets. And then the exits are on the side of the boat. So this is all going to get painted um, white. I'm going to do graphics, and then we'll get this bad boy in the water this summer, or this spring, I should say. And I uh, just wanted to get this thing out there. Pardon my horrible videoing. Like I said, just a cheesy camera or whatnot. But uh, anyway, just give a close-up view of those motors. They look really good, I think, on the back. Transom is very solid. Um, that's all one piece of 8-inch uh, polystyrene uh, heat form to put a bend in it right here. And then it basically looks like a nice transom, like it, like it always was there. It doesn't look like I actually cut it off. So that took some time to fabricate. And um, other than that, just wanted to show off this boat. Cannot wait to uh, get a video of this thing running. It runs really well. It runs really balanced. And I'm really proud of the way this one turned out. So anyway, that's just one more quick boat video. Any questions or comments, please feel free. And uh, don't make fun of me for my horrible video quality and, um, and audio either. Like I said, I'm just doing this with a simple camera and in my basement. So anyway, everybody have a great day. Bye.